All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, got a big box here, and I'm sure you can tell by the title what I'm opening. Big box. Ordered all new hunting gear for this year, and yeah, I'm sitting on the floor because it's kind of easier to open the box when I'm on the floor, so. But yeah, I ordered all new hunting gear this year, and I went back and forth between a bunch of different uh, brands, Sitka, First Light, Badlands, and uh, Ended up going with Badlands. Uh, obviously it's a little bit cheaper, but it still has a lifetime warranty, just like Sitka. So if that's your argument for getting Sitka over Badlands, uh, it also has a lifetime warranty. Uh, waterproof, windproof. Uh, or this is actually water resistant, wind resistant, not 100% waterproof and windproof. Uh, it's rated from zero to like 50 or 0 to 45 degrees or something somewhere right around there uh, I'll link everything everything I open out of this box. I'll link down below but I ended up getting uh, a Warm outer layer base layer a mid layer uh, top Net gator and beanie so open all that up kind of give my first impressions and stuff and then actually tomorrow uh, I'm going hunting and then Saturday. I'll be hunting as well uh, try out this gear and then uh, come back, kind of give my uh, give my little review on how it was and how it did against the cold, because it'll be pretty cold Saturday morning. So uh, after I wear it a little bit, I'll give you my like short-term review. And I might do a video later on, uh, do another long-term review, uh, long-term review. But let me grab, go ahead and grab a knife here and uh, get this box open, and we'll start pulling these pieces of clothing out and see what they're like. Oh yeah, forgot to mention. Uh, so what I ordered is the, I got, it's uh, the Elevation Beanie, the Algus, Algus Net Gator, the uh, Pecora, P-E-C-O-R-A, uh, base layer, the top and bottom, and then the mid layer, uh, half zip top as well. And then I got the Calor jacket and pants. And uh, that's what I ended up ordering. So go ahead and jump into opening all this up for you guys and check it out. Uh, good reviews on it. Didn't see anything bad on it. So uh, let's go ahead and jump and open this up and we'll see what it looks like and uh, get kind of first impressions, see how it's put together, see what type of material it is. Because I couldn't go in the store and check any of it out. So I just kind of had to order it and. So I figured I'd unbox it, uh, check it out with you guys, and put it to the test, and then do a little review on it. If you guys don't use these, uh, the outdoor edge knives, they're pretty sweet. They got the removable blade on them, so when it goes dull, you just grab a new blade and stick it in there. Ain't gotta worry about sharpening it. Got it open. This is just how it comes in the box right here. Don't look like much. But this is how it comes. Comes with your sheet, that thing on it. Uh, I'm gonna set the camera up on the tripod and open these up and see what they look like. Let's start with the net gator and the beanie. Here's the net gator. Nothing, nothing crazy. Like the net gator and the beanie and stuff like that, it's very reasonable price. Uh, I'll, like I said, I'll link everything. You guys can go check out all the prices and everything. Big long net gator. And it's got the Badlands logo right there on the front. Nothing crazy, it's just like a little thin thing. I just like something on my neck when I'm hunting. And then uh, something I can pull up over my face. I just like being completely hidden and completely covered. Uh, I didn't order any gloves. I have some really light little jersey gloves that I like to wear. I like to cover everything on my body when I hunt for some reason. But yeah, I'll have to get all this stuff washed today and then put it to use tomorrow. But there's the net gator. That's how the beanie comes. My head usually don't get too cold. So I just got the, uh, this is the elevation beanie. And it says, uh, got the Badlands right there on it. And then, Go ahead and cut this off. 
There's the beanie. Go ahead and throw it on, see how it fits. There it is. Nice little skull cap beanie, real tight to your head. You honestly will almost wear this under a hat or something. It's pretty thin. The thicker one that they sell, they were out of order, so. Or not out of order, or yeah, they were sold out, so. Couldn't get those, but this should work fine. As long as it don't get super cold on me. Alright. So then, we got the base layer stuff. This is the Picora. It's, 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 so the base layers, it's a Picora. Is like the name of this uh, base layer here. But it's all it's merino wool is what it is. The base layer and then my mid layer is uh, merino. So it should be nice and warm. We'll go ahead and open this up. Try it on see how it fits. And then all, all this gear is the, they have two different uh, camo patterns. They have the uh, Approach and the Approach FX. So these are all Approach. The neck gate or the hat is actually FX because that's all they had in it. But the rest of it is all Approach. Has a little more green in it. But we'll go ahead and try this on, see how it fits. Sleeves are a little tight, like in the forearm area, but all this gear is kind of a tighter fit gear. Uh, seems like this merino is supposed to keep you very warm, but it fits great. There's the logo, nice and long. You'll be able to tuck it in, and I'm tall too. So if you're, I'm I'm six one, and this is just this is a large, so definitely long enough. I usually have problems with stuff being too short, but even the arms and everything are fine. So. Same deal, uh, camo, the approach camo, and then it's kind of the greenish gray color as well. This is all just base layer stuff, so the camo pattern really don't matter. I mean, I guess I could hunt in this shirt real early season, which I probably will. But yeah, these are just base layer, I ain't gonna try these on, but I'll try them on off the camera. Uh, and I got the mid layer. My plan was to get the base layer and then a mid-layer top, and then the jacket, and hopefully that should keep me warm enough here in Missouri all season long. But this mid-layer is also merino, and it's a quarter zip. Or a half zip, maybe, is what this is. Yeah, it's like a half zip. Zips down pretty far. Basically the same thing, this is just a little bit bigger, or a little bit thicker. Go ahead and try this on. Yeah, this stuff feels warm already. I can definitely just be warm and this has the Badlands on the sleeve as well. And it has thumb holes in it. So you get your thumb holes going right here. Get your other jacket on top over this. I mean, this already feels plenty warm. I mean, obviously I'm inside, but liking the material of it too. It's good, nice and long. I'll be able to tuck it in as an underlayer if I want. But I guess since we got this on, we'll go ahead and open the jacket up. Check the jacket out. No hood on it. But, but I think it does have a zip open pocket here. Got a little lanyard deal right here. You can clip your rangefinder on. I think that's what that's for. Check the inside of the pockets. Inside of the pockets are this fuzzy material. Nice and warm. Stick your hands in there, keep them warm. And this stuff also has two chest pockets. It also has uh, I forget what they call it, some kind of body heat activated technology where all these little deals in here are supposed to, your body heat's supposed to activate it. It's supposed to be really warm even though this ain't a roof. 
heavy duty thick jacket. Also have the adjustable sleeves on them. Cinch them down real tight. That's nice for bow hunting. Get those cinched down real nice and tight. Don't get in the way of your strings or anything. You got a little shoulder pocket here. Throw a little something in there. But yeah, I'm pretty light right now. Like this ain't even, I mean, you can see I'm not poofy at all. And that's trying what I was, kind of what I was trying to get rid of with buying this stuff. And uh, just got these three layers on here and it feels like it's pretty warm as long as no wind gets through or anything. Should keep me pretty dang warm. I could also throw on another layer under this and I'm sure I'll be fine. Uh, the pants, Let's see what the pants are like. I like the material of this stuff too. It's like a, you can tell it's gonna be wind, wind resistant and uh, rain resistant for sure. And uh, these pants, just opening them up, they do come with suspenders on them, but they come off real easy. I mean, you can just pull them off just like that. They come with suspenders on them. That way up there. If you're a suspenders kind of guy, I'm not. But nice big metal button right on the front there. Heavy duty. Oh, pockets are, I, mean, I put my whole hand in there. Pockets are nice, big and deep. Also got another little mini pocket right here. Not sure what I would put in there. Then they got the cargo pockets on the side of the pants. Then they got the knee pads. reinforced knee pads on the front. So if you do a lot of ground hunting or a lot of mobile hunting, that's good for that. I'm gonna take these suspenders off. Go ahead and throw these pants on, see how they fit. A little big on me, but, but they stay pretty snug to your body. I think they'll be fine. I'll probably throw a little belt on or something. Probably throw a little belt on or I might have to use those suspenders, but uh, these are large, tall pants. So, I mean, I'm a pretty tall person, so I needed some taller ones. And a medium ain't gonna fit my length of my legs. So, I mean, if you're a real skinny person, be careful with that, because obviously these are gonna be a little big in the waist, but <clears throat> kind of what I figured without being on the older sizes. Uh, your waist size and your uh, length size separately. They just have medium, large, uh, extra large, small, normal sizes like that. Uh, but yeah, seems pretty durable. It all seems pretty well put together. A lot of stitches and little stuff. Like even this little thing here, it's got a ton of stitches right here, so it ain't gonna, even little stuff like that shouldn't rip. Yeah, the uh, pants seem a lot thicker than like the jacket even. The pants seem pretty thick, so. It should be pretty heavy duty. This stuff's supposed to keep you really warm, be super light, super mobile with it. I hunt a lot of public land and have to go in really far. Uh, don't have to, but I choose to go in really far. So I wanted to get something lighter, more, more mobile. Uh, the warm gear that I have been wearing uh, for the last two years. It's like, I feel like the Michelin man out there walking around and like, not very mobile and it's hard to get up, do a hanging hunt and stuff like that. So. But yeah, this is the gear I decided to go with. I figured I'd just unbox it and show you guys and give you a little first impression. So far, I'm really liking it. But yeah, so I'm gonna put this stuff to the test, guys, and I will come back and wrap this video up here in a couple days whenever I'm done hunting with it. See how it does. All right, guys, so I tried out the camo, hunted with it that uh, following evening that I filmed that video, and then the Saturday morning I hunted with it as well. Uh, the morning, it was like upper upper 20s, lower 30s, and that's all I wore was that uh, the base layer, mid layer top, and then the jacket, neck gaiter, beanie, base layer pants. I wore another really, really thin uh, layer over that base layer, and then the uh, calor pants, and that was all I wore that morning, and it was pretty chilly out, and uh, I was down close to a river, so it was even colder than what the weather forecasted, so... Uh, didn't get cold at all. I was completely comfortable. And then the evening that I hunted, 
I was actually like upper 40s. I think it might have even been touching, been in the 50s. And uh, I just carried the jacket in, got up in the stand and put that on. But I had everything on that I unboxed and I was plenty comfortable. And then just wore everything out, walking out, didn't sweat or anything. So keeps you warm, but it doesn't keep you overly warm whenever you're walking around and stuff. So definitely good. I also walked through a bunch of burrs and they got all over my jacket and my pants. And they're real easy to just kind of brush off and get them off. Uh, I have bought clothes in the past where I, I just threw a pair of pants away. I, it was like a, I don't even know I don't even know the material, but burrs were just covered up, covered them, and they were like a nightmare to get out. So I th ended up just throwing them away. Uh, they weren't nothing expensive, but yeah, definitely like the like the gear. It's real lightweight. I was real mobile in it. Didn't feel like it slowed me down or weighed me down. Didn't get in the way when I'm trying to hang my set because I do a lot of hang and hunt. So I definitely like all my clothes being close to my body, out of my way. So I uh, highly recommend, guys. But that is going to do it for this video. Like I said, down below, everything will be linked down below. And you guys can go check it out. And uh, definitely recommend it. Uh, your first purchase on Badlands 2, you get 20% off. I will go ahead and put that code down below for you guys, too, if you guys want to uh, order, order yourself some and use that code, 20% off. So... I will catch you all in the next video.